Everyone's just going to call him Charlie, you know. Everyone who knows him calls okay. him Charlie. All right. So what do you think about this matchup? He's going off against uh, Scat here, who I opted for the snake like pick. I like this matchup as snake. Uh, I think Wolf wins for yeah. sure. What what are the lasers. what are the reasons that what are your pressure points here in this matchup? I hate laser mm -hmm. as a snake player. Mm -hmm. I hate that I get comboed so hard. Yep. I, I don't have that many moves contest his hitboxes. Yep. It, I don't know. I think I think Wolf does it really good in this matchup, yeah. but it's not impossible. I mean, even if if you force the snake to recover uh, low, you can go out there edge garden with a nair, pretty much uh, dead snake. Down smash at the ledge also will just eat through cipher. Yeah, it actually extends the hitbox of down yep. smash. It like destroys snipe, a cipher and he gets hit. And in the case of snake recovering high, uh, wolf can chase him pretty like reliably with up bears as well. So not bad. Ooh, Ooh. Charlie's uh, being able to hit those consistently like wolf flash like combos. Be able to kill Snake early, that's gonna really help him out. Yeah, and Charlie's the kind of player who will like, he will trade stocks, right? Even if it's like, he loses his own stock, he'll go for the flashy wolf confirm, yeah. wolf flash confirm, the flashy wolf flash confirm. I hate I mean, myself it, sometimes. It's pretty flashy. <laughs> the, just side special on its own, like without oh. the combo, it's a flashy move. Up till on that left platform though, that that's gonna be uh, Charlie's first stock. He's gotta play carefully around the C4. Jumps away. Yeah, Scott's definitely playing the matchup really well, though. Oh, no tech chase up smash for you. Great parry. Scott turning up a little bit here. Down air out of shield. Got him off stage where he wants him. Got to watch the grenades. Got to go for the down throw. Goes high. Oh, oh okay. I do not know what that is. That was a miss input. 100% <laughs> miss input. Oh, okay. Hold buffer. You know, I don't know if this is an excuse or not, but uh, I do know Charlie is uh, one of the newer Smash players. Yeah. So, like, this might be his first time, like, in this game going up against Snake. You know what I mean? Like a, a high caliber one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he, he, has, oh, he has played key, right? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I mean, like, with this game, like, right. his uh, experience only comes from playing Snake in this in game. In this game, yes. That makes sense. Um, which is so why, like, Snake is such a hard character for a lot of people to right. deal with because they, they came from only having played Smash 4. Not really be, being familiar with Brawl, you're going to have a lot of uh, matchup and familiarity there. Yeah, and I was just remember there's a lot of times where Charlie would just yeah. trade with grenades unnecessarily like, like this. And uh, Bim being a really momentum and, like, offense-based player, I feel like these grenades are really stuffing the, how he wants to play. Yeah. One thing I can already see right here is that Scat is turning his back to um, wow. to Charlie with the grenade in hand. And when he's face, it has his back oh. face towards you. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. He placed that C4 on him as Charlie was sitting in shield, grabbed him, threw him back, and easy KO with the Damn. detonation as there. Swaggy. Absolutely. But as you I was saying. You can't even be mad when someone does that to you. Nah. You got a whole that. You just got bodied. <laughs> but as I was saying, uh, one thing is that, like, Charlie does like to, like, kind of press forward a lot. Obviously, he's really, like, confident in his confirm, so he knows if I am if I hit this, like, dash attack, if I hit this forward air, like, I'm going to do more damage. So he's rushing in a lot. Scat, recognizing that, is turning his back towards him with the grenade in hand. Yeah. So the second that Charlie throws a forward air or a dash attack, that hitbox is exploding the grenade, yeah. and that is not a worthwhile trade for no. Charlie to be making. This is a really good like counter to the way Charlie wants to play. Yeah. Oh my god, he knew he would roll. Got the A-Town stomp twice in a row. And he's actually from A-Town, I think. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's actually from Georgia. <laughs> Bruh. That's funny. Anyway. A-Town stopped being Atlanta for people who don't know what <laughs> I just said. But uh, yeah, I really want to see how Charlie adapts here. I know he wants to press these buttons. He wants to just apply this pressure, make Scat scared to press these grenades. But it's going to take quite a bit. And yeah. uh, the way Scat's playing so intelligently with these grenades. And this is another interesting stage pick as well. Um, from what I know, like Snake can hide the C4 somewhat on these uh, inner lines of the like center of the stage as well as like just it being a wider stage it gives snake more room to kind of just like set yeah, up shop this is like a better fd for yeah. snake i i don't know i really want to know what charlie was thinking going here but okay <laughs> <laughs> all right homie stock dude we'll take it homie stock with style 
Yeah, I mean, I guess if that's what you want to call it. That's what it was. Dang, you know, <laughs> it's a thing, too. Like, that happened and all, but, like, Scott's still playing to his advantage. Like, he gave Charlie a free stock there, and he's still winning. Yeah, actually, it took no damage up until there, and there you can see the grenade coming out. It, it, it generates frame one, so it's a really reliable way to, like, break out of not true combos. Like. Oh, my God. He di straight up on that, but the explosion of the grenade right into the up air. Scout's playing on point, dude. Nice. Okay, yeah. Really good confirm with the forward air to Wolf Flash. Unfortunately, with Kalos being such a high ceiling on top of Snake being heavy, it's not really going to do much for him other than just rack up damage. Nice parry again. Getting the clean down air out of shield, but there's a punish. Charlie trying to find a way to get this back air to take this stock, but Scott's defense solid as heck right now. Okay, where's he gonna go? Goes low. I'm surprised he let him go low for free. I thought he was just gonna try to challenge that a little bit with the downer, but another parry. Oh my goodness. Charlie's just trying to maneuver around these grenades, but he's getting blown up back and forth. Yeah, looking really rough for Charlie right here. 76% oh. on his last stock. Scat still living on two. Down throw? Nope, he's going to get the grenade exploding, which actually could have worked out for Scat as well. Oh. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, yo. So he could have yeah. just gone for Nair one up tilt, but he went for the jab, but who cares? He has an up tilt anyway. <laughs> he was trying to do some swag, and he did, and then avoided every single KO.